Who's the most consistent check casher on the elites? In this video, we're gonna do a couple things. First, we're gonna talk about who's the most consistent check casher on the elites. And then second, we're gonna play a little game. So stick around and hope you like it. I'm gonna say it again. Thank you for all the new subscribers, all the people that comment, all the people that love the channel that's going on. There's fans, there's anglers, it's crazy. It's been an overwhelming response lately and I really do appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, do yourself a favor, click the subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. This one popped in my head later this afternoon and I thought, you wanna know what? I'm gonna do some research, look up some stuff, and find out which anglers are consistently getting a check. By this, I mean, I looked up their stats on Bassmaster.com and it shows how many tournaments they've been in and then how many times they've cashed. Now, at first, when I started to do it, I was taking out anything that was open related or classic related because I didn't think it should be in the mix. However, boy, that made my life really tough. I did four and then decided, nope, change this. I'm gonna go by the stats that Bassmaster has. They're probably gonna be right more than I am. But there were some rules I thought there should be. First, I didn't put any rookies in this, or I tempted not to put rookies in this because I wanted a bigger sample size. You have some of these rookies that have been so good this year, they've probably received a check in every tournament or maybe only lost one. I wanted to anglers that have been, are a little bit more well known, that are a little bit more established, and so that's what I did. Second, I tried to look for some of the bigger names. Really what I did was I looked at the people that were going to or were possibly in the 2025 Classic Cut line as of right now. And there's still one tournament left or two tournaments left. But who has the highest percentage of checks received? from Bassmaster. And this is from the Opens and the Elites and the Classics. So there's no discrepancy. Everyone's on a fair level playing field other than certain anglers are more established than others. And if I left somebody off, because I only did 39 out of the 103, if I left somebody off that you are really that you really like and you follow, I think the best thing to do is to go to Bassmaster and check out their statistics yourself. I'm not trying to throw any shade or try to say I like one person over another. I kind of went with who was in that cut line and then threw some people in that are outside of the cut line that I think are pretty well known and established as an angler. Now here are the list of the anglers that I looked up. I looked up Rick Clun, Justin Hamner, Cody Huff, Chris Johnston, Jacob Fouts, Jay Shakurat, Corey Johnston, Jordan, Jordan Lee, Patrick Walters, Chris Zaldane, Hunter Shryrock, Matt Array, Lee Livesey, Wes Logan, John Cox, Brandon Palinick, Alex Redwine, Pat Schlapper, uh, Stetson Blaylock, Brandon Lester, Jacob Prosnick, Kyle Welcher, Brock Mosley, Taku Ito, Kyoto Fujita, Greg Hackney, Hank Cherry Jr., Jeff Gustafson, the Gussie, Brandon Card, Kenta Kamura, Seth Fighter, Keith Combs, Jason Christie, John Cruz Jr., Bill Lowen, Mike Iconelli, Scott Martin, Matt Robertson, and Gerald Swindle. So here's our first game. How many on that list are in the top 90%? So 90 and above. What anglers, how many anglers do you think are in it? And who are they? So hit pause for just a millisecond. Do yourself a favor. Don't cheat on this. Just because it's, I'm going to tell you who it is. But don't, don't cheat. Hit pause right now. And then put the number, go down in the comments, put the number of people that you think is in the top, or is it, has made 90% of the checks, and then who they are. I'll wait for you. And we're gonna go from the bottom to the top. So in terms of anglers that have made a check, either have made a check between 60 and 70% of the time, was 25 of the 39 that I looked at. So I'm gonna go through the list of anglers in that 60 percentile cash check deal and then tell you their name and also where they are. Jacob Fouts is the, the least one and he was at 60.9. Rick Clun was at 61.9. Now Rick Clun's had 317 caches out of 512, which is astronomical. To think of caching 62% of the time is pretty phenomenal, but you're gonna be really impressed as we get up at the list. 
Kenta Kamira has is cashed 65% of the time. Scott Martin has cashed 65.2% of the time. Brandon Card's at 65.7. Keith Combs is at 66. Al Dreadwine's at 66.7. So is Kyoto Fujita. And oh well, Hank Cherry's at 67.7. John Cruz Jr. is at 68.4. Mike Iaconelli's at 68.7. Matt Robertson, which was a, a real I was really surprised on this one, is at 69.1. Brock Mosley's at 69.1 also. Gerald Swindle's at 69.4. That's another one that really shocked me. And then Cody Huff is at 69.7. Now the anglers that are on that list that were 70 to 80. Those are Hunter, Hunter Shryrock is at 71. Bill Lowen's at 74.4. Brandon Palinick is at 74.5. Brandon Lester is at 75. Jason Christie's at 75.2. Stetson Blaylock's at 76. Chris Aldane is at 77.5. John Cox is at 78% of the time. Jordan Lee's at 78.3. Seth Fighter is at 78.6. Justin Hamner's at 78.7. And Jacob Prosnick is at 79.8. And that's the amount of times or percentage that they cash a check. Now here's where it gets pretty fun. Greg Hackney is at 80. So is Wes Logan. Uh, Jay Shakurat is at 83.3. Taku Ito is at 83.6. Kyle Welcher is at 85%. Lee Livesey is at 86.5. Patrick Walters is at 87.1. 74 out of 85 tournaments he's cashed. That's ridiculous. And then Pat Schlappers at 87.8. And his stats are 36 out of 44 tournaments he's cashed. Now, do you remember who you put in your list? For the 90 percenters, there's four of them. Those four are Matt Array has cashed 54 out of 60 times for 90% of the time. Gussie, the man, the myth, the legend, has cashed 55 out of 58 times, which gives him 91.4%. Corey Johnston has cashed 60 out of 64 times. And that's a 93.8% of the time. And the last one absolutely is mind-boggling to me. And of course, it could be wrong online. I'm just going what I see on Bassmaster.com. But Chris Johnston has cashed 62 out of 63 times, it says. And that's a 98.4 percentile. That's ridiculous. Now, of course, he could fish other things and it could be wrong. But it says he's cashed 62 out of 63 times. That is ridiculous. My surprises, there's a lot of surprises on that list, to be honest. When I look at it, I wrote a whole bunch of little stars by the ones that are questionable. Pa Pat Schlapper, I didn't think was as high as he would be at almost 88% of the time. That's ridiculous. It's, it's, and so is Jay Shakura. I just can't believe how consistent 83.3% of the time is. When we get down to Prosnick and Fighter and Lee and Zaldane and Christie and Palinick and Lowen, I thought they might be in that 80 percentile and not in the 70. And really, Jacob is flirting with 79.8, is really flirting with 80. But I was a little more, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Also, when you get down into that 60s, Swindle and Matt Robertson and Ike and Ellie and Scott Martin, I would have never thought Scott Martin would be at 65.2%, but he is or so the stats stay, or so the Bassmaster.com says. So I got to go with what I can read or what I can do. So what do you think? Is that not a little crazy to see how consistent some of them are and how well some of them have done? And some of these guys have made a, a good amount of money just cashing checks. And that's a positive thing for those, for those anglers. So were you right? Were you wrong? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take your kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thank you very, very, very much. I really appreciate y'all. Hope you like the video. Talk to you soon. Cheers.